Hi, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am Dahlia Indigo. Today's video is my top 22 products that I bought in the year 2022 that I'll be purchasing again for 2023. Some of these products I purchased multiple times throughout the year. Some of them I got on a little late, but I'm definitely going to be purchasing them again. So while I have you here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also leave a comment in the section down below and let me know what were your top products of the year 2022. <music> start right on off with skin and I'm just gonna go in with my Bosha not sure okay so my Bosha eye cream so I have dry sensitive skin and during the winter time my skin cracks right up under my eyes and when I tell you empty bought this two times and I was a fan now, I know some people get the little bumps on the, under their eyes when they're using some eye creams. This one did not do that to me, which I've never had that problem before, but I just want to state that. The consistency of this one was more like on the texture of Vaseline, or but a thicker Vaseline, not greasy. I can't really explain it. The girl at Ulta told me to get this, and number one on the list right here. Next up, I'm going with these three and I'm doing these three together because in September I had a breast reduction and a lift and my scars are almost non-existent. And my doctor is so impressed with my scars that he said that there are several clients, well, patients of his that would pay to have my scars so the first one is this palmer's cocoa butter skin therapy vitamin e and this was the rose hemp fragrance next is the bio oil and i wasn't too sure about this even though it's been out for a while i'm i don't know why i wasn't sure about it but i had got the small one guess what big dog is on the way and then next up was this Stretch Mark Cocoa Butter. It was something that I got from a Black-owned boutique on, M on Instagram. And it had cocoa butter, shea butter, and jojoba oil in it. And it was a stick. I hit pan. I had two of these. And I'm trying to go back through my emails. But guess what? I think I have deleted it to see where I actually purchased this from. But they called it a scar stick. I'm going to find it and I'm going to be purchasing some more. Y'all knew it was coming. Y'all knew it was going to be here. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. It has like a vanilla note. And if you know me, I wear nothing but vanilla. Anything that has vanilla in it, I'm wearing it. Now, it was running neck and neck with another body cream. I'm not even going to hold you. I use this one more than this. And this is the Laura Mercy A Almond Coconut. And I do have another one. Um, it's vanilla cream or something. I like that one as well. But this one. If you already seen my morning routine that's here up on this channel, you know I use this. And it is almost empty. Next, we're going to move on to Ollie. Now, I know a lot of people use their multivitamins, the gummies. They're just a little too sweet for me. I can't do it. But this Happy Hoo-Ha purchased it like three times. It supports vaginal health and pH balance. It is a probiotic, you guys. Now I have moved on to the brand Ray, but I do go back and forth between the two. Therabreath. It has no alcohol in it. I think that's what I like, that it doesn't burn my mouth when I'm gargling or 
just using mouthwash um this was the clean mint i have the fresh mint one i think which doesn't have a overpowering mint taste but so far i'm a thera breath girl two things i want to share is the mega babe detoxifying happy pit if you are a lumina free girl you know you need to detoxify your pits and you can use Aztec clay but sometimes I just don't have time to mix that up so I did purchase the Mega Babe Happy Pit Detoxify Underarm Mask with Charcoal Vitamin C. Y'all it works. I use this on my underarms. Um just because I'm natural, I use natural deodorants and I have detoxified my armpits before, does not mean that they will not smell. We know that you have to exfoliate up under your arms because the deodorant, that's what I'm trying to say, the deodorant sometimes cakes up. Let me tell you, this has helped me out doing this might be too much information tmi not really sure but i'm here to let you know that doing that doing that time of the month i be sweating and all natural deodorant just don't hold me the way it normally does but if i do this the week before my cycle starts i'm good to go y'all knew it was here sweet cheeks full body deodorant and you apply it to your special places this was the fragrance watermelon my favorite is peach it's hard to come by i'm on the text messaging list that once she has a restock i am restocking because i'm a thick girl and i sweat and I just placed that, especially when I had larger boobs, I would place it up under my boobs. I would put it on my backside and hit those creases. And guess what? Smelt fresh. Either smelt like peaches or watermelon. Now, I'm going to show you these three products here because these three go together. This is the Necessaire line. I have the deodorant, which is a gel. Now, during the summertime, I felt like immediately when I put it on, it would make me sweat. But come winter, this was my girl. I purchased this, I purchased this two times. This was the fragrance free body wash. Definitely purchasing it again. When I had my surgery for my breast reduction, I had to use a fragrance free soap after surgery for until like everything was healed. This was my best friend. Now my everyday girl would be the body serum. Oh my gosh, it has hyaluronic acid in it. Since I've been using this serum, since I've been using this serum, I must say that I have noticed that my skin has really improved, especially in those rough areas like my knees or my elbows. My skin has improved and it is very moisturized. Since we were on our shower stuff, Ole. This is a cleansing and nourishing. It has um, body wash. It has hyaluronic acid in it as well. The smell. Oh my gosh. I put this in my guest bathroom. One of my guests used it and I was like almost running up the stairs when she came out the shower to say, hey, what did you spray? What did you use? It smells so good. It had the entire upstairs area smelling so good that I had to purchase it for my bathroom. Another Olay would be the In Shower Rinse Off Body Conditioner. Chef's kiss. When I tell you this has made my skin so soft, my skin is soft. And the smell, go get y'all some of this.
Now, when I'm winding down, which you will see this featured in my nighttime routine, that's an upcoming video for this channel, the way chill pills in my bath water, they have like a coconut fragrance and they each come individually wrapped. I think that's coconut. It is not coconut. It is jasmine rose. It would smell familiar. But once I put this in my bath water, it just elevates the nighttime routine. Now, I am not a fan of sugar scrubs because I use an exfoliating um, mitts or cloth, but one that has my heart is the Tree Hut Coco Colada. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And I like to use this right before I shave my legs. Since we're talking about shaving, I know a lot of the girls are on the shaving oil. Not me. Not to say that I won't be. I just haven't tried it yet. I've been stuck on this Brazilian Bear Shave Syrup. It comes out just like the texture of syrup or honey. Well, it's not as thick as honey. It comes out as the texture of syrup. And ever since I've started using this, I have not had not one single cut. Sometimes your girl be in a rush and the razor just get caught or something. I, I end up with a cut. But since I started using this, which I purchased it from Target, I have not had any cuts and you can use it for your, who I cannot talk. You can use it for your bikini area, your legs and your underarms. When I say the doc, it didn't lie. It says provide the smoothest, most comfortable shave. Eliminates ingrown hairs and razor bumps. Guess what? Your girl don't have any razor bumps and I don't have any ingrown hairs. The two combined, not for my lady part area, Sugar is a no-go for that area. These two together, perfect combination. Now, remember when I was talking about detoxifying my arms? TikTok told me to buy this, which is the Panoxyl Acne Creamy Wash. It has benzoyl peroxide in it, and it's a daily cleaning wash for people who have acne. Guess what? I don't have acne, but I use it on my arms, my underarms every day while I'm in the shower. That's what I use and it has been working. Like I notice a change in my body or in that area if I do or do not use it. This is dear to my heart. It is Call Sweet Cream by Sachet Skincare. And it's the signature collection, Sweet Cream. Guess what? She's coming out with like a little Valentine box. I just purchased it. I think I have all my friends on this. And I have purchased every time she restocks. As someone from my hometown, I don't know her. I don't know how she popped up on my Facebook. I know I was already following her, but she does like waxes in the area. And I say, this formula, it gets, it cleans this, yeah, private areas. And it works. And it's just something about the texture and consistency. She does have one that is called a Yoni wash, which I have that one as well. That's my backup when I run out of this. That one's not my favorite. This right here is top tier. And not cleaning the inside. Water does that trick. But the outside? Like I said, I'm a thick girl. I have some creases. Guess what? 
take care of everything. And it has a very light smell. It's almost like a peppermint smell, but very faint. Now y'all know we were not going to end this video without talking about some Dr. Bronner's. I love the lavender and peppermint is my favorite. I know everyone said that the peppermint is not for them with the little tingling feeling. I like it. I also wear honey pots. So I like this, my favorite. This is number 22. I lost the footage for this one product, but this is the Mago 7 Cleanse. It is a detox cleanse that you take the night before bed, and when you wake up the next morning, everything moves. It's not like a laxative. You don't have those cramps or real bad feeling. This is just a smooth cleanse, and it's my favorite detox cleanse. Now, all products will be linked in my Amazon storefront down below. Now, I know I said 22 products, but I could not close this video without giving you my top one, my number one thing for the entire 2022. It is going, it went into 2023 with me, and I tried to switch it up and use something else, but it has me, it has a chokehold on me. And that would be the Valentino, Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Do you see how much I have left? Guess what? I'm about to put it on now. Whew. I get so many compliments when I wear this fragrance. It lasts. This has been my yearly fragrance and once again i'm wearing it all this year nothing compares to it for me now i do have several other fragrances and sometimes i do wear them but the next day i will come back to my girl because the bond that me, me and her has it ain't no breaking up it ain't no breaking up Okay, so those were my top 22. Well, I gave you 23 products that I enjoy for the year 2022. And I'm going to be repurchasing them or already have repurchased them for 2023. Like I said in the beginning, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what were your top products, hygiene, oral, fragrance, body, whatever, you name it. Let me know what were your top ones. If it was not here listed, let me know so that I can go purchase it and see what's the hype. Why you like it so much? Because I'm telling you, these, I'll fight somebody about these. But thank you for tuning into my channel. See you next time. Bye.